Ideogram 2.0 is absolutely insane at creating print-on-demand designs. Now I have this design just here, it says haunting for a snack. Now this is a Halloween design as well, and I have 36 Halloween design prompts for you to come and try out. So if we come over to here as well, this is all on my public profile, and there's 36 designs, all for Halloween, and all ghost related. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to take these prompts, use ChatGPT, and get different quotes, different puns, edit these prompts, and then you're going to have some completely different designs. So first of all, all of the prompts that I used to create all of these designs were created with my t-shirt prompt generator. And that's a part of my IDEO Mastery product. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. You actually get two custom prompt generators. One's a t-shirt and one stickers. But please be aware, this is only going to be available until the 27th of September. Now, if you don't want to check this out, I do actually have a freebie for you as well. And this is my 100 ideogram prompts. Now, if you want this, there will be a link for this as well. All you have to do is click on here, put in zero, click on I want this, and you're going to be able to get this completely for free. Now, let's come back over to ideogram. And let's take a quick look at these designs. Then we'll take some of these prompts over to ChatGPT and get some brand new prompts with some unique ideas. Now, all of these are on my public profile. Now, I will also leave my profile down in the description so you can come through. And once you're on here, all you have to do is simply click onto one of the designs. You can click Use just there. It's going to add it here. And then you can click Generate to see what you get. Now, the best way to do this is the way which I'm going to show you in a second. But nonetheless, we can see just how perfect some of these designs actually are. Now, this is also using Ideogram 2.0. But let's take a quick look at these. We have these ones just here. Now, each six of these, each line, is kind of a different style as well. So we have this style at the top, which looks really good or colours, should I say, different colour palettes. These ones look really good as well. I really like how this one turned out, which is too cute to spook. If we look at this, this is flawless. There is nothing wrong with this design at all. All you would have to do is go and edit it, remove the background, possibly upscale as well, and then you'll be good to go. Now, I'm not saying do that on this design. I'm just saying because it's that flawless, that's what you can do. Then we have these ones just here with a different color palette as well. I really like this one. Let's boo, gee, really good play on words there and quite funny with a really nice graphic. Then we have these ones as well, along with these ones. Now this style just here has this little effect over the first words as well, which looks really, really good. Booze before snooze, boozy and snoozy, chilling like a villain, dead tired still wired boo crew and bruise they all look really really good and then i really like these ones as well i really like this color palette but nonetheless if you want to use these you want to use the prompts and you want to create completely unique prompts with different quotes you can use these prompts just here as a base to get some new ideas so first off we're going to come over to chat gpt now, I am going to be using version 4 for this. This is on the paid account. You can play around and use the free account to see what happens. But for best results, I always use ChatGPT4. Then, what we're going to put in is this. So it says, I am a, that should say print, I am a print-on-demand seller and create designs using AI. I need help with creating prompts that will be used for creating the designs. I'm going to give you some of my example prompts and I want you to create similar prompts in, that's a little bit wrong, there we go, the same style and with a unique quote. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. We're going to click enter and this is where we can start feeding it all of the prompts. So I've already gone ahead, let's come back over to here. I've already gone to head and taken these prompts. 
from this line of designs just here. Now you can play around, add all of the prompts, some of the prompts, it all comes down just to testing. But if we come back over to here, we're then going to put example prompts and we're just going to plug in all of those six prompts. Then we're going to click enter. And now we should get a new unique prompt with a different quote, but in this style. And here we go. So a t-shirt design with a black background at the top of the phrase, broomstick ballet is in a bold glittery orange letters. So as we can see, it's done a pretty good job. It looks like it's given us more than one prompt as well. But this is what you can do to get very similar prompts to all of the designs which I have just here. This way you're going to create some really, really nice designs for print on demand, and they're going to be completely unique just to you. So let's come back over to here. Oh, it looks like we've got three. So let's take a look at the quotes for this. This is broomstick ballet, goblin grins and pumpkin pins. I'm not sure about that one. And then there's spectral spices. So, or spectral spices. So let's do this again, another, but make the quotes more cute. Now let's click enter. Let's see what we get. And then we're going to use this one. So the phrase or the quote is, whisker wishes and magic dishes so that seems kind of funny let's just go ahead and take this let's come back over to ideogram let's plug this into here there we go that didn't work so let's do that again let's just copy that like so now come back over plug that in there we'll click on we got it on model version 2.0 and a top tip is rendering in fact, let's put that back up. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to click on the little drop down arrow, just like that. And on rendering, we want to use Turbo because it's only going to use one credit. If you use the default, it does use two credits. So just keep that in mind as well. You don't actually have to use two credits for version 2.0. And then if we click generate, in fact, let me just put that on public. But now let's click generate and let's see what we get. So let's just give this two seconds to do its thing. And while that's doing that, in fact, let's come back over to here. But this is where you can play around and get completely different quotes. Let's say another with a quote. No, let's do a ghost pun and with a bright orange and purple color palette. And please keep the same style. Now let's get this as well. So what's the quote on this or the pun? Girls just want to have fun or girls. Girls, girls. I can't even say that properly, but you get the idea. This is quite a good one. So we're going to take this. We're going to copy. We're going to come back over to ideogram. That's actually done. So let's do this as well, like so. Let's click on, let's click generate. Let's come back over to here. Now let's do this again. Nope, in fact, we've got the ghost here. So let's come back over to Ideogram and let's see what we've got. So this one, Whisker Wishes and Magic Dishes. This looks okay. It looks a little bit off because of the writing on the potion bottles. So you might want to edit that out if something like that happens, or you can just edit the prompt. So let's try and find that. So that's the wrong prompt. So let's just put this one in there. There we go. So right here, it says the scene is embellished with a few small potion bottles, each labeled with cute names like Giggle Glitter. So it's having a hard time doing that because we've already got quite a few words. So if we take that out and just keep all nestled like that, then redo this prompt, it's going to look a lot cleaner. So in fact, let's go ahead and delete this one. Let's go back to here and let's take a look at these. Now, another thing, I do use t-shirt design in my prompts an awful lot, but this also gives you a background of a t-shirt, normally with two different designs, like this one and that one. Then we have normal ones just here. But what you can do is just take that t-shirt out as well, and then that's going to completely get rid of that when you generate new images. But if we take a look at this, this looks pretty good. I actually quite like this one. So in fact, let's go to remix. Let's go all the way up. Let's go to off. Let's go ahead and delete this one as well. And then let's go back to looking at these. So this one, this one looks really, really good. I really like that. So in fact, we're just going to keep that one. Let's do this remix. We're going to delete. 
like so. And then let's take a look at this one. In fact, let's just delete this and take a look at the two ones which we just created. So this looks absolutely awesome. I really like this. Girls just want to have fun. And then there's this one, Whisker Wishes and Magic Dishes, which also looks pretty good. So again, come over to ChatGPT, use this part first, and then input the example prompts, all six of one of, let's go back to just here, of one of these lines. And then you're going to get an endless supply of prompts that you can use to create your designs around. If we want another, we can simply put just another, and then we're going to get another great prompt, just like that. So come through, check out all of these prompts, have a little play around with them, and see what you can create. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, because it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.